Freaking <laughs> Hunter is bad that game. Jeez. There we go. Sonata here on fishing on the striper. Met Hunter on the way down to Gonzaga Bay. Yep. You're going sardine? Here we go. <laughs> Showtime. Got the Mad Max ready to go. I'm going 240 mackerel on the Abbott 30 secret rod. Tie it Tiagra. Sardine, 240 Mad Max. He's got so what's the plan of attack for today? Normal 500. Okay, gotcha. Toto Santos Island over here. Yak 30 wide on the Seeker. Tiagra, the Calstar. Trolling Mad Max. Let's go. No, it's up already. We get out. <laughs> what a spot. Hunter, thanks for having me. Man, look at these guys. They're all ready to go. And pigs, too. What's up? They say good morning. Good morning. How old are these goats? Uh, probably like three years. <laughs> I would say somebody uh, donated. Look at Hunter is bringing the bad back game. I thought that this guy in Louisiana, when he rolled out a bag of about 20, Matt, you got to have 40 or 50 in here, huh? I don't know how many we have. But... Jeez, there it is, the pink mackerel. So, yeah, you're saying that you like that color a lot? I mean, the bluefin. We, we caught the biggest one on this color last year, but on this, they bite a lot. See that, Mark? Oh, yeah. This is my a new color that I'm gonna try it. It's not new though, but you know, I didn't have it last year. On this, they work pretty good. They love it. But to yeah, me, and these are all you're running mostly the, the 240s. To the fish, this is the best color here for the bluefin. You think that that the purple and the black? Yeah. That's what Mike with it. the Captain Mike with Nomad likes that color a lot. Yeah, the purple and black. And then you didn't run it. Well, no, though, you got teeth marks on that one. Yep. You were running the 200s also, huh? Oh, yeah. How many did you get last year? Fish? Yeah, how many bluefin? Probably like, like close to 30. Wow. Most of the time you were getting multiple on a... Uh... Most of the time. This is, this is new to me. This color I never tried before. Oh yeah, that is that the Spanish mackerel People color. Say that this is really good. So, oops, give him a try. I didn't put a treble hook down yet. But you do with all your other ones, huh? Yeah. They're ready. So we got <laughs> yeah, plenty. they are. We got plenty of ammunition. <laughs> and then, what do you like to do? A hundred pound uh, fluoro leader? Or have you thirty? One, and you haven't no, noticed no, a difference of uh, no fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon. Oh, mono gets tired. And and last year we lost three lures without no reason. And I went back to the store, and I and I talked to the guy and say, hey, fluorocarbon gets tired. What do you mean by gets tired over time? It just gets in weak. One day because you are trolling so fast, there's a breaking point on that line on that called I know fluoro. And I never had any problems. Instead with of mono stretches. Right. Right. So you use a 130 pound mono taught with a tie or no, a crimp? No more, no more floral for me. Do you do crimp or do you do tying no, it? I tie, I tie it. Jam knot? What kind of? I'll show it to you. Yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Wow, okay, that's good to know. And they're still getting bit. I thought people were saying you get bit a lot more on the 100 pound versus the 130, but. The proof is in the pudding. You got, you know, you make it happen. That's I, all that matters. I'd rather have a hundred. Oh, I would too, for sure. Cause what was your biggest? One eighty was your biggest fish last year. Yep. A lot of them over a hundred. Lots of them. Yeah. Nineties, eighties, you name it. Not very many small fish. Mm, not really. At the beginning, it's easy to catch a lot of those small ones. But you pick and choose your days when your times when you go? Always. Yeah. Got to be windless out there so you can see the foamers way out. Yeah, foamers or... Here we go, made it to the marina in Sonata here on Sunday. 
April 23rd, 2023, going fishing on the striper with Hunter Antonio. All right, here we are. Ensenada, the harbor. You got Hunter Doggo's boat right here, the striper. We're gonna load up all the gear, send it for bluefin, early season bluefin tomorrow. You got the big boy reels ready to go right here. Mad Max. We're fishing the machine, here it is. <laughs> ready to do this. Yep. Get ready for Thank you, Hunter, for taking me along. Met Hunter on the way down to Gonzaga Bay. It's all good. Baja veteran and bluefin. Got the some bluefin experience, so let's get it. Got Antonio in the house too. Hey. <laughs> Going with it? Yo, we're gonna share it. One kilogram. Yeah. It's a lot of fish. That's Corvina, huh? Corvina, yeah. Uh, sheep's head. Here we go, showtime. Good morning, good morning, good morning. From Ensenada. Showtime, <laughs> we're doing it. The beautiful bow, here's the fishing vessel. The striper. Hunter Doggo's beautiful boat. But it's about seven o'clock right now. A little bit before seven. Bigger than 40. Yep. There it is, Hunter's. Let me borrow since I don't have a big enough treble on mine. Need a bigger treble hook on the back. So it swims right. right. Big, big, get moving. Oh yeah, so it's ready to go? Yeah. You're going sardine? The color of the lure? Yeah, right now sardine. But and then how long of a... That's a great color. Yeah, no, I like that. Uh, how long of a top shot do you have on yours? Probably like uh, 30 yards, 40. Of the mono? Of the mono. Yeah. The rest is 200 pounds. Here we go. Getting out of the harbor. Here we go. <laughs> Showtime. Yeah, I've been hearing about those. Got these blue jellyfish things in the water. Got the Mad Max ready to go. I'm going 240 with the black and purple mackerel on the Abbott 30 seeker rod. Hunter, tie it, Tiagra, Sardine, 240 Mad Max. He's got the good hooks. Nice big treble hook on the bottom of it. Well, so what's the plan of attack for today? We're gonna go to uh, the hidden bank, the upper 500, the peanut, where they are. Yeah, the peanuts down here a little bit that, south. That's where we're heading, mainly here, the lower 500. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, not this one, that's this one right here. So we are going to work this area. And then work up that ridge line, got up, it. Up, up and down the ridge. Trolling Mad Max, that's the name of the game. Then if we see them, maybe cast lower as home. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Early season bluefin tuna here in Ensenada. <laughs> this is it. Finally, after all this month. Right? I know. Back. Everyone's been having to wait. <laughs> was at the sport fishy ladies yesterday. But it's a whole different story on the private boat than the sport boat. Every single day is different. Yeah, that's the thing. Every single day is different. Got the whales. Bond a bank in the background. Yep. Boiler rods 
at the end of Bonda Bank. Really good calico fishing. There's the whales. We got Toto Santos Island over here. And then out there somewhere is the bluefin. You gotta find them. I can leave the other ones out while I reel this one in. One hundred.
And then all the way at strike. Yep. All right, that one's out at 100. I can't. It's too, I can't pull it. Well, two hands I can pull it, yeah. If it's tight enough, yeah. Cracked it. Now it's a balloon. Broken rod. So much pressure on those Mad Max. Oh yeah. All right, time to send it. Hundred. so high in the air that I can't tell you know like these when it's lower it kind of jiggles and swims okay but these are they, they're separate they're not touching each other I'm gonna drop the middle one back now it's skipping it's not swimming oh yeah Okay. Back down at 60, what's the water temp here? 60.1. Over there was 60.4. All right, try to find warmer water. We got a real rod break on us. Cracked. So now we got the Tiagra 50 wide on the Graph Tech with this 240 sardine Mad Mac. 
I still got my Ave EX30. Two speed. With this 240. Mad Max. And then we got the other Ave now. Hundred count back on that one. Eighty-five on that one. To do sixty on this. Second deepest, 85 count, 60 count. Trolling three Mad Max, let's go. Loofing time, come on baby. That's all for trolling. No bites. This this one's yours. Yeah. All right. No yellow. No blue fan. So we're gonna switch it up. Yellow. Yellow tail on the way in. I don't know if I want to go Nomad or Halco. We'll go Nomad. All reliable. Fresh out of the box from Squid Co. DTX Minnow 140 sardine color. I don't normally put them that far back. Jeez. Yeah, you don't need to, right? You don't have to put those that far back. No. No, they don't. Not, not like the Mad Max. Boom to Vonda. Coming back towards Ensenada in the bay. Seems like the type of place you gotta know where to go. Yeah. You haven't seen those before? Very 
foamy. Oh, oh no. We're going over shallow area, huh? Rocks. How deep is it? 78? Yeah, man, I shouldn't have a problem. It only dives 25 feet. I don't know if there's a high spot with the rock or something hit it. I it seemed like it was just getting snagged. It wasn't something hitting it. Is there another road that cuts across the the Punta Banda like in the middle of it, or you gotta go around the whole outside of it? That's how it is. One road in, one road out. It takes a while to drive it all to get over to uh, Bufadora. About an hour and a half, two hours. Wow. There's a road that's under construction. It should be four lanes, now it's two lanes. You can imagine that. Boat ramp over there, right there. Launched a solo. No love trolling Buta Banda for Yellowtail. It's beautiful inside the bay here though. That's like the boats down in uh, Loreto, Puerto Escondido. There's a lot of them that big. 